late afternoon here on the farm guys and I'm out with a ghost. Not a goat video by any stretch of the imagination uh, but I am in tow I, so I'm following the goats and behind me someone's following me doing something quite exciting. Dressed in pink is Kai Muk. Behind the tall grass is Mrs Crabtree and she's got a hunting head on. So last night we came out in the hours of darkness while it was drizzling and we caught a load of frogs, little frogs. Well, they're, they're full size little frogs, a kied. We use them for bait, which I know isn't everyone's cup of tea, but we won't show you doing that. This little stream, which is sort of like our little irrigation drainage canal, uh, which is fed from next door over there. And we can hear the water still coming in to the right. Uh, we've noticed that there's some fish splashing around here when the goats go down to eat the morning glory there's been some activity there and over that side way beyond our lake uh, this drainage canal continues through to next door there's a pipe over there and there's been loads of guys night time putting in well, what toon calls standing hooks what you call them in Thai toon so you've got a thin bamboo stick and uh, secured to the top so behind one of the knuckles on the bamboo you've got this thick it's almost like a braid coming down then it's doubled up twisted and doubled up to a nice size hook and then just secured there so you flick that off there stick your frog on at the other end it's pointy shove that really secure in the ground and dangle your frog so it's heads just above water. So I know it sounds a bit barbaric, but frogs are the best bait by far. You can put worms on there or shrimp, uh, but you won't get anywhere near the same sort of results. So the main things we're after, uh, the golden fleece of fish for us, is the uh, the bachon, the snakehead, turn calls them mudfish. Oh, sorry dear. So Toon's just put a frog down there, she says something's after it straight away. So we haven't done this for how long? More than a year, isn't it? Two years we haven't done this. So it's late afternoon and uh, all right, missus. You're not really dressed for fishing, are you? Huh? You can't get up there? You're no use to us, are you? Off you go. I can't get a peep. Oh, right. So we normally do this all at night, but we thought while we're walking around with the goats, and by the way, they've just jogged on the left us, um, Toon said she'll set the hooks, and then uh, we'll just keep walking around with the goats and checking as we go. What are you seeing, Mrs? Someone crying. Crying? Bullseye, isn't it? I've left him. Bullseye. Bullseye lack nung lee, isn't it? Is that your fishing rod? You're going to get chuff all misses. So just to show you some of the undergrowth that you need to brave. If the best places to fish, or set these hooks rather, are often the most inaccessible. And just starting to walk down here, you can just see the water just move a bit. It could be frogs, it could be tadpoles, small fish, it could be big fish. Like that. If you see a shoal of fry and they're, they're orange in colour, then they're normally the bachon babies and the male normally stays with them. Yeah, the water's shaking a little bit too. I think there's something down here already. The water's lovely and clear, so the more overgrown and covered there is, the better it is usually. So it's just going to show you how to call the bachon if she can reach the water. And that's the noise the bachon makes when they're feeding. It's sort of like suck the food off the surface. So that's to call them. So if we don't get bachon, we'll still be happy getting catfish. You can get some big, big catfish as well as bachon around here. And uh, yeah, and also frog. The big bullfrogs will take the small the smaller keyhead frogs. 
Uh, so if we get the bullfrogs, they will go into our tank where we're breeding them. If we get the catfish, moment misses, important bit. If we get the catfish, then I'll either be eating them or they'll be bunged straight in the lake. If we get any bachon that are too small, they'll go straight in the lake as well. Two wants a bit of light refreshment. She's got a Leo on ice in my man bag. Apologies earlier for our, our minor technical issues. So um, I've reformatted the uh, STD card and uh, done a factory reset. Hopefully, digits crossed, we're good to go. And uh, when, as soon as Toon comes back, before it gets dark, we're going to uh, go and check the hooks and rebate any that have been stripped. So fingers crossed we've got a fish or two to show you. Um, in daylight hours. If not, I'm sure we'll get a few tonight. We even put one in our lake and uh, they were splashing around in the in the grass as we set the hook so I'm pretty sure that, I, I think the stick is just going to get pulled straight in. But uh, Let's go and have a look. And we're off with Minion Head Torch. Uh, Toon's got the fish bag and uh, the other bag's got the spare oh. Uh, wasp nest in. Uh, she's got the other bag with the spare frogs in and I've got the most important bag which is so there we go that's the secret to uh, standing hooks uh, lubrication. Right so hopefully the GoPro is going to not kick up, it's quite a lot cooler now, so I think we're all right. So we can do one round of the uh, the lake. Let's say all the hooks are on the outside of the lake in the irrigation canal, bar one that's uh, in a, a weedy area on the lake. So I think Toon said she, in total she's put about 12 or 13 hooks out. Ah, that's right, she's put 12 in, I'll put one in, so I'll probably win one nil. But she did put the frog on the hook. A lot of catfish on the surface tonight in the lake. They got really long whiskers and they're just sort of like uh, going along the top picking bits and bobs off the surface. Right, what we haven't done is put a little marker on the top of our standing hooks. Like a little bit of plastic. I don't know where you put your first one in, missus. Some people put a bit of tin foil on there. We used to tie a little bit of plastic bag on the top, uh, but we haven't done either of that. So if we can't find it in daylight, there's no chance of finding it night time. And his back legs are hardly in the water. Yeah. They're nearly the whole frogs out the water. Mm. Honest. Something bit your frog, eh? Sometimes the frog actually goes in the weed. Ah, it's pulled. So whatever it was, it's pulled. Pulled the frog off the hook. So something's had a free meal. It's a good sign. Some of these snake eggs are so big that oh, I don't know how many frogs I could eat in a night, but it's quite a few. Snake had have quite a bad reputation, certainly in America, where they were introduced illegally by, uh, by Asian people. They uh, brought them over there because that's one of their favourite fish. It's become quite in invasive. Um, people think they're incredibly aggressive. They're not. They're actually quite shy fish uh, compared to catfish. Uh, quite a softly, softly catchy monkey type of fish, whereas the catfish are just sort of like smash and grab. Oh, whatever, squeaker. Open beer, this. Beer o'clock, is it? Uh, okay. Who am I to refuse my wife? I can't. That's two things I'm doing: recording and that. So. Welcome. I think we've officially got the biggest tune. I think we've officially got the biggest bar in Thailand. 
that, that's actually open at the moment. Cheers, guys. I can't believe it's about two years since we've done this. Quite excited for tonight. Frog by Lail, again. It's bad luck bringing a keep net or a, a fish bag with you. Because you come unprepared and then you catch a load. What happens if your hook is well, well above the water? I'm on about a bear hook when you come back. It means it's been pulled really, really strong and the rod, the little bamboo stick, has sprung right back and gone more upright. And that's a good five or six inches out of water, whereas before it's about an inch. And we have got previous videos from many moons ago where we do show you us baiting the hooks with these frogs and uh, dangling them in the water, but it's not everyone's cup of tea. A lot of people don't like to see that, so we don't normally show that. Uh, we might again in the future if there's enough interest, but if someone's interested in how to knock up these little bamboo fishing sticks... Whoa! What? Big splash down there. Oh, we think we've got something on the other hook. Don't spill your beer. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I can see the water moving from here. Where's the stick though? Did you put one there? Yeah. I can see it. It's laying down flat. Where? Oh, that is a good sign. See it? Not yet. To your right a little bit. It's bent it right over. A snakehead for two Why years. <laughs> Tune the alpha oh oi the <laughs> alpha male female hunter. <gasps> Look at this sight. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Didn't look big to you maybe, but there's plenty of meat on these fish. It's big enough. Well bloody 10 grams is big enough for most Thai people, isn't it? Oh, don't say that. Deeper. Yeah, we won't be letting that go then, will we? So, the unlucky fish bag has got a fish in. Uh. Cheers! <laughs> the hunter's return. Welcome to Pa Piang Farm. For Piang Farm means you have to cut, hunt, cook, eat yourself. Now help. Uh, can you carry it for now? I've got to carry two bags, a camera and my beer. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. It's a shame I moved back home first, didn't she? <laughs> Tune's baited up again. Pop it in the same spot. You never know. Tim was just saying as she was sliding down the bank there, her nephew was come round earlier when he uh, he bought, kindly bought us the uh, the goat food that he'd cut for us this afternoon. And he saw Toon putting the hooks in. He was like, what the heck are you doing down there? You're not going to catch anything. Well, you're wrong, Lek. <laughs> Your auntie Toon snared one. At least one. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on, can't fall in till we've checked all the hooks. Yeah, there's a lot of splashing over there. What? Is it? I caught a frog. It's got a bullfrog. Yeah, do. That can go in the tank. Hopefully it's a girl. Because we've got three boys and two girls, isn't it? See, where else on YouTube can you see? Ah, it's yeah. How to catch a frog with a frog. <laughs> <laughs> Not big, but it'll grow about four times that size. Boy or girl? Girl, isn't it? No, it's a boy. Is it? It's all right.
Where are you going then? Got to go in my. He's got to go in my man bag, hasn't he? Can't. You can't go in with the patron. Yeah, gonna... jump up easy. Will he? Might not leave. Have to go in. Oh, you're gonna eat my frog, isn't it? I'm sure he won't eat him while he's in there, will he? Yeah. I think he's gonna have a sore mouth, isn't he? Put the frog with. The... Oh, let's have a close up to the camera. Look, he's shy, isn't he? He's covering his eyes up. So how do you know it's a boy? Let go, mate. Oh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, he's not got those colour bits. The boy have to got, like... Hmm. Might be a girl, then. Stick it in with the girls, isn't it? And then mm. if we were to see... Uh, Fertilised eggs in the morning. Well, you hear them, don't you? You hear the frog sexy time, night time. If uh... what's the dog doing? He just heard the bird. Good luck. Never caught a bird in her life. Still runs after him. Another frog on the hook, then, misses. Choppity chop caught, chop. Not caught doing and leave for nothing. <laughs> Well, it could, it could this, be called this, Toon and Toon. I, I'm not doing anything apart from holding a beer. This Toon and Lee life. <laughs> I fucking love it. And I like Lee a little bit as well. Well, I'm not sure. But he got no choice. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I eat the frogs, you don't. Well, you eat the small ones. I, I don't mind the big ones. Um, I don't mind your turn again, but I have to keep me time somehow. Yeah, we tried small crispy frogs a couple of weeks ago, wasn't it? About three weeks ago. First time for years for you. About man, mate. How many years since you ate the frog? Oh. <laughs> I think when I'm super young. Hey, don't break my beer off. Don't break your beer off. So that's four hooks checked. We've got one bullfrog, one bachon. Oh no, it's five, isn't it? Because we've um. We've had two missing bait and one where the the frog has been bitten. So that's not bad out of five we've got two. We've had action on all the other three. Now we have got a, an area earmarked for tonight closer to the house where we know there's bullfrogs of bread in there. Uh, so hopefully there's a male and a female. There's lots of juvenile ones in there. And uh, we should be able to get a few tonight out of there hopefully. On to the next one. Oh, and we're getting near the pipe as well. Where we're checking at the moment was bone dry for, well, we had a drought for six months. I think it was dry for at least three, four months, missus. And when we talk dry, I mean, there were huge uh, cracks in the, the, the bottom of the irrigation canal. It, it was bone dry, it was like concrete. So, I'm not so sure whether the mudfish buried themselves and they've survived. I've got a feeling most of these have come from next door. Did you? Yeah. Oh, someone's pulled that one as well. Is it pulled it or the... Oh, that looks tight. Uh, steel. I suppose if we had more time on our hands we should have sort of like cleared out some of the, the morning glory off the surface, isn't it? I did say to Tuna, I'd like to strim all the way on the other side. And then easy for just pop your hooks in. But we wouldn't be able to get all the way around the lake to, to do that. It's just so overgrown. So it does involve a little bit of sliding down the bank. Of course, guys, if we ever get through this COVID nonsense, then uh, if you do come out and visit us, some of you are talking about coming out again, uh, very, very welcome. You are going to get roped into this, either, either that or we're just going to leave you at the, the farmhouse and you can sing on the karaoke on your own. Um, for, for those of you that have followed us from the, from the, the very, very start of our channel, most of our videos... <laughs> Were, uh, were fishing videos. We used to get a fair bit of stick from it, because like, we used to say we're alive Thailand. Um, it should be fishing in Thailand, but uh, now, yeah, we're farming in Thailand, but 
Um, it, it's good to get the hooks out again. So at the moment we are about, I would say, 400 metres from the from the farmhouse, which is oh, there. Yeah? Huh? Hang on. Oh, action cam. Oh, I knew this would be a good bit. Baduk, catfish. Is it? Put on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's it going to be like tonight? You can't beat the taste of wild, wild butchon. It's a bit rusty, isn't you? You get the hang of it. You go stand on now. He baited. Off we go again. Well done, you. We've got some more from from there back to there. It's getting dark, it's going to be good. So the next one we're going to check is actually in the lake, which I put in, so it's probably going to be a, yeah. a 3kg. Yeah. Was it? Yeah. So here we go, it's a 3kg snakehead going to be on this. We know there's at least one huge one in here, because we, when we had the uh, lake dug out, macro man, um, when he was digging out the lake, there was a, a shallow bit. When we were walking round, this snake had launched itself onto the shallow bit and was going crispy in the sun and we saved it. It was about two and a half kg. Um, there was another one. Uh, there was another one which was even bigger. Is that it there? That's it there, isn't it? Laying down. Is, isn't it? Or not? I it's either you, gone or that's... I think you get by but nothing on there now. Oh, maybe it misses. This is serious. Don't let my fish go. That is my pretty food, look. What are you looking for? Yeah? Is it? Oh. He's lost a leg. Oh dear me. Leg bailed out. <laughs> I thought he was down there. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you're not. <laughs> you ne nearly break your hook, but you can't find it. Roll them up. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Oh. Okay, alright, alright. Shut up, Dun. He's not allowed to say that. Oh! oh. He fill up the water. <laughs> Help me, gang. Help me. <laughs> really? <laughs> <laughs> I got wet, wet toes, and I. Every single hook, bar this one, I've just jinxed us. One down there, I thought it'd be brilliant here. This is where the the drainage pipe goes through to next door. Every single bait has been either fiddled with, bitten off. Oh, she's got another one, isn't she? She's only gone and got another one. Whoa, that is bending a lot, isn't it? Oh. <laughs> uh, that's a hat trick of snakehead. Ooh, that be there for a long time. Broken mouth. Mm. All right, it's going to be in the pan anyway. Can you move away from the end. Hmm. 
We need to cut more frog for tonight, guys. <laughs> My mom right? you should put standing hook on afternoon to the night. Yeah. We've always put them on, well, normally about this time, isn't it? Yeah. But I think because there's so much weed, we could have put them out earlier. But we can't be on, we can't moan. Bloody three snakehead and a we frog got already. we already for tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and it's, is any of that, that last, um, Ooh. More fish there. More coming, more coming. One moment. This quite be dry for a long time, isn't it? That's what I was saying. Water, I I really think come, the fish have come with the water. Yeah, water. Uh, with fish come with the water, we, but we not get proper proper big one yet no. because uh, they go to next door and go somewhere else. But it's big enough to to eat. Don't worry. Our drainage pipe is, is a roundabout there, it goes through to a deep pond there, and it overflows into a rice paddy there, and then the other end, it floods these other rice paddies, and then there's a stream that goes all the way down there, down, 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 and goes into the river. And that's where all these guys have been setting their hooks for about the last three nights, but we didn't have any standing hooks ready. So uh, Tuna asked our building guy, he said, look, can you, can you knock us up some fishing hooks for us quick smart and he kindly did 30 while um, he was helping someone else do a building job um, he was just there helping helping out mixing cement so in his spare time he knocked 30 hooks together for us so, uh, two bar each you can't moan with that we supplied the uh, the braid and the hooks and he, he's done the rest he's done us proud right in the viewfinder that is as black as the ace of spades we might only be able to record up the top. Mind you, I've got a, I've got a torch, haven't I? Ooh, moon's out, isn't it? Oh no, it's your ass. <laughs> Not terrible. You're gonna get slapped. Gonna get slapped. Promises, promises. All right, where's the next up? Can you remember? How many left? Yeah, still That's got frog. Okay. Is that That's it then? That's it, yeah. Right then, fi final yeah. count misses is three bachon. One frog. One frog. And th three three hooks that haven't been touched. That's not bad out of 13, is it? So out of, out of 13, we've had 10 bits of action. Mine over there. That must have been massive. It took a whole frog leg straight off. There's just one problem with um, going out and doing some uh, fishing like this when you've got two goat herds. Uh, I've got one goat herd in the house uh, and then darkness fell and uh, Toon's so-called princess, which is called Coffee, uh, the brown one with no horns, uh, she's got a scream like a foghorn and uh, I was trying to get her in, last one in. No. It's dark, she doesn't want to go in there because there's mozzies, so I'll need to go in there and spray everywhere. And as soon as she screamed, mum comes out, she screams. Every I've got a tsunami of goats running around the island in pitch black. So I've gone in and sprayed anyway, but what I thought is, um, I'm getting too old for running around with a bloody spray tank on my back in the pitch dark. We're going to go around and we're going to check the hooks again tonight, catch a few more frogs, uh, and then we'll see if the goats have gone in. If not... Um, I don't know what we do. Anyway, uh, take a butcher's at, at this. What you been doing while I've been trying to get the goats in then? What do you think I'm fucking doing then? You just have to say I'm cooking the bachon. Dinner. Snake head. Tomb was right, the first one she caught. Said it was pregnant, there's the eggs. Lovely. Paja guy Lee is pissed. I'm pissed. You look like it. Look at your cheek. I know, I've got rosy cheeks, and I? Two beers and I'm any ones, and I? I'm two as well. <laughs> Draw. But I'm not right, so we're going to get some fodder down us and then uh, back out and check the hooks again. Dinner time. What happened to the fish? 
to right. Shi Bachan, my all time favourite. Wow, Bachan. Chu Shi. Chu Shi Bachan. Chu Shi Bachan. Well, guys, we devoured our dinner. Uh, the Bachan didn't stand a chance, all three consumed. <coughs> this is what you're doing. You didn't look like a hunter now. Babnung. Babnung, don't think so. Right, guys, we're going full minion. Toon's going to have a head torch as well as me. We've got another standing hook. We're going to put this near the house where we've seen the big bullfrogs. And hopefully we can snare one or two of them. Uh, and then we're going to go around the lake and we're going to check all the hooks. So it is black as the ace of spades tonight. Uh, we'll only flick on the camera and put the head torches on for you uh, if we get one or two. Um, other than that, we've got, still got to try and round up the goats in the pitch black. All right, guys, we've just got a crab. Toon managed to get a male crab. It'd be nice if it was a female one, but never mind. And we've also been catching plenty of frogs with our ingenious frog catching device. So that's topped up the bait. As we go around checking the hooks, Toon will continue catching frogs as we go. So good so far. We've also put a standing hook where the uh, the bullfrogs are suspected. Hey, you can see from up here, there's a patron on the hook. Looks about the same sort of size. Oh, it's a little bit skinny that one, isn't it? Super deep. Is it? Mm deeply hooked so uh, there's not much chance of that surviving. Where well, man bag? Got my man bag right here. Oh, many years ago when you caught fish, people fucking happy anyway. <laughs> that means your family get food. That's right. Well, as COVID-20 looms, Catching uh, food in the wild might become more and more important. Who knows? So none of the frog gone. So today we've got uh, about three stripped hooks, and, uh, a male crab, one pachon. Still quite a few to go. And don't forget, still got my perfectly positioned frog. Oh yeah, this is where you got your bullfrog. Don't forget, I've got my perfectly positioned frog in our lake. A mistake. What happened there, Toon? Uh, big mud fish under the frog. I just scared it off. <laughs> <laughs> so we thought there was a bear hook. Toon went down to change the... put a fresh frog on there. Mm -hmm. When she got there, there was there was still a frog on the hook and underneath it was a snakehead but ready to strike. Uh, yeah. Never mind. Come back a bit. Oh! I heard it. Toon's doing very well with the frogs. Getting plenty of little frogs. And coming around the top of the lake now, if you can see over there, it's Lecky's coming over. Here. That's Toon's nephew who said we wouldn't catch anything. We've got four, mate. I think nothing near the pipe. Mm. And uh, a frog gone on the one prior to that. So that leaves, last but not least, uh, the, the one in the lake. Toon's just getting a frog there. So I've got to brave up and go in the bloody lake in the pitch dark. But here, there's winds, Rodney. Toon keeps on pushing me out of the way to catch the frogs. Right guys, where the lights are shining, uh, that's where the hook is. And the, uh, the hook is not to be seen. And the line's tight. Soon said you could see the line moving, so I'm gonna have to go down there. I can shine it on there too. This is fraught with danger. The balance of a cat. Always put your weight on your back when you walk down. Is it? I not see it moving. Nothing, it's flipping Nick Me Frog, isn't it? That's it then, you pop 
frog in frog gone. Oh. Right, I got an, I got a new frog on. My head torch is just about dead, so Toon's got to shine the way down for me. What the heck was that in front of me? Oh. Oh. Yeah, shit myself. Right. Oi, oi, oi. So here we go again. Gotta make sure these sticks are in far enough. Although they're little rods, doesn't mean that you, or little poles really, doesn't mean that they're going to be small fish. And it wouldn't be the first time we've had. We've had uh, sticks, fishing sticks, pulled out into the pond. Okay, I know a little bit gory guys, but that's basically how you set it up. Just rounded up the last of the goats and uh, I've gone and sprayed in there like anti mozzie spray. But tonight is terrible, although it's we haven't had any rain today uh, at all. There's loads and loads of mosquitoes around. It looks like there's a there's a new there's a new hatch so Toon's just knocking together a little uh, smoky fire and uh, get that going and then we'll go and check the hooks again. The smoke will deter the, the mosquitoes for a few hours. But yeah, surprised to see it's this bad. Uh, we've just come back from our second round round the lake and uh, we didn't get any more fish so only one snakehead on the second trip uh, but we have got a bag of frogs. I don't know how many is in there, probably about 50 or something like that. One so, party. enough to, uh, yeah. There's enough for eating and enough to bait the hooks again tomorrow. So the big bullfrog we got, that's now in the frog tank. And uh, what are you holding there, missus? Boo! Uh, Two managed to snare a couple of these boys so you can see the, the big claw that tells you it's a it's a boy so we've got two of them we're going to put them in the crab tank uh, right. we're going to have a sit down and then uh, we'll be back out and check the hooks again so if we get anything else we'll show you in the morning so it's the day after the night before and last night when we went back out again uh, we didn't get anything else i think we've got one more mudfish so in total we've got five mudfish uh, a bullfrog and also a couple of crabs. Five. We ate three. Yeah. Now you don't leave your, your hooks out overnight. Well, some people do, but, but we don't like doing it. For one, one reason, probably the main reason is if you get a fish tethered and uh, say that that's about 11 o'clock midnight, well, we gave up at about half ten. Um, they're going to be dangling on that hook till about six or seven o'clock in the morning. So there's a good chance they'll be dead and they'll be spoiled or crabs will get hold of them or a snake will get hold of it. Um, but the snakes are the other, the other reason really. You leave a, a frog on the hook all night. If there's no fish about, you're better off just taking your hook out and, um, and getting it out of the water. Otherwise there's a good chance that there will snake be on the end. So we went round um, to collect all the hooks in. And Toon has a sort of like spider sense as she gets a goosebumps on her arms when uh, whenever there's a snake around. It's happened so many times, it, it, she, it is something weird. But, uh, she said last night, I'm not going to go and get that hook near the water's edge. She got all the other hooks, so we left it. Because our muggins had to go back this morning after I'd let the goats out to check, to check the hook. And sure enough, there was a snake on there. So we got one snake as well. So five snakehead, one snake, two, two crabs, uh, and a bullfrog. It's quite good. So um, it's late afternoon now. Toon's already put the hooks out while I was walking around with a goat. So we're just off to go and check again. So we're not going to drag you around with us again. It is really, really hot. And uh, we've had a bit of blue sky today as well. So not the best fishing conditions for afternoon. Normally you want nice overcast. If it's drizzling or something like that, and a little bit of wind, that's perfect. Uh, we'll see if we've got a bonus one or two early on um, and then we'll set him again tonight but it won't be another late night tonight. 
All right, I'm getting the uh, I'm getting the evil, so I better go.